In this video, let's learn to use app.run to create a middleware component. We actually have used app.run before, but let's review this. We have already learned how to use app.use to create middleware components. And to use app.run is different. Okay, so we use to create a regular middleware component or a short circuiting. So the use method creates both type of middleware component. However, the run method it does not take the next request delegate. Therefore, it always creates a terminal middleware, which is short circuiting middleware. So let's take the context and let's output something from here. Here, we're going to say async, and then I'm going to say middleware number two processed. So we are going to run in debug mode. I'm going to set a breakpoint here a breakpoint here, and then a breakpoint here. Expecting that this breakpoint is not going to be hit because this is a terminal middleware, which is going to return everything from this middleware back to the previous one, and then back to Castro server. So let's run in debug mode and see whether my prediction is correct or not. Okay, browser is launched and the breakpoint is hit. Let's go step over. And step over again, you can see that middleware number two is executing right now. And then if I step over again, it comes to line number 11, execute. All right, so you can see middleware number one goes to middleware number two, and then middleware number two does not forward the context object to the third middleware. So directly returns back to middleware number one and executes the after calling logic. So that's why I'm saying that app.run is a method that helps us to always create terminal middleware, right? By now you have to be very clear that the middleware that is presented early in the file is executed first, and then this one should be executed and then this one should be executed. So all of these are only executed when a request is received. So because the order of writing this in the file matters, therefore this terminal middleware stops the entire pipeline right here. So everything that is written after this, so all of the middleware components that is written after the terminal middleware will not be executed. In this case, middleware number three didn't execute. And that's everything I want to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.